Assalamu alaikum. Hi everybody. Today we will continue studying our literature selections. Uh, the last dog by Catherine Patterson is uh, our new selection today. Uh, we will talk about a science fiction or scientific short story. It's completely fiction. Many scientists, um, after the invention of the atomic bomb, uh, they are afraid of the nuclear reactions and the effects of these bombs. So they thought that there is a final war that will lead to uh, the destruction of the whole world outside. So they started to build dooms underground, like builder uh, buildings and shelters, huge building and shelters underground to protect them from the effects of these um, nuclear reactions or atomic wars outside. Gradually, they started to live and scientists start to study these things and they got a decision that it's not safe to go out of this doom it's safe to be underground one scientist uh, actually his name is Brock according to the story he wants to explore uh, the outside environment outside of the doom and he proposed to go out um, the scientists inside the doom felt astonished and amazed of this decision according to them it's a strong and dangerous decision because they believe that outside of this doom it's too dangerous and poisonous and they believe that any human being or living creature who try to go out he will be dead uh, fast so let's see uh, how events start how events end let's discuss some uh, elements like um, we have a hint about the author uh, some summary let's see what's uh, available with us here let's go to the point the first thing uh, we should talk about is the author uh, she is Catherine Patterson Catherine Patterson was born in October 31 1932 she is a Chinese born American writer so she was born uh, in China she's an American girl was born in China uh, best known for children's novels including Bridge to Terabithia and The Last Dog for uh, four different books published 1957 1980 she won two uh, Newbery medals uh, concerning uh, Bridge to Terabithia it's um, it's produced uh, to be a movie and it's interesting movie about a boy and girl they became friends they went to the jungle they have their own small shelter on the tree so many events it's really uh, full of fictional events but it's interesting and amusing uh, story let's go to check what's happening with Brock uh, in the last dog Bridge to Terbithia and the Last Dog. I'd like to just show you some profiles. Yeah, this one for Bridge to Terbithia. It's an interesting movie. You can watch it. Um, the Last Dog. It's our selected uh, piece today to discuss. So let's go to uh, background. And as I told you, um, backgrounds always at the beginning of each text reflects much of the circumstances um, that the author wrote his piece of literature or piece of writing. Uh, honestly, this background coded from my perspective level 7. Um, uh, let's go. In this science fiction story, the author imagines a future in which people live in a sealed, doom, separated doomed, um, and believe that the outside world is unsafe and uh, in news the story's main character discovered something that every one thing cannot exist and it changes everything like the author or the uh, the character the main character discovered that all these lies outside are not real that's why he was able to go out and even he found a living creature there so this dome is um, the safest shelter they can find. 
um, I'd like to explain what is what is a dome. A dome, as you said, it's um, something like this building. Uh, it could be underground or on the uh, surface of the ground. It depends. But mainly in our story, something underground, and this is the entrance to uh, from inside to outside or from the external environment to inside the dome. So in our story, this dome uh, was built underground to protect all scientists and the living creature from the nuclear reactions after the war. Let's have some summary. In the selection, The Last Dog by Catherine Patterson, a boy lives in what seems to be the last city on earth. Like the, the last city to keep uh, the rest of the survivals uh, of these wars. Everyone lives in an uh, airtight dome with only occasional exploration out. They believe that the rest of the world is lifeless and poisoned, as we said before. But on a research trip out, the protagonist, the main character... Brock finds a living puppy, living little dog. He saves the dog, feeds it, and quickly becomes deeply attached to it. And then he begins to realize the full implications of what he found. Unlike what he has been told, dogs are not existed, and there is not even living creature outside of this dome. What if everything else he has been told about the world is wrong too so many questions the this boy was brought that there is no living creature outside of doom or even there is no type of life outside so he is trying to discover the opposite of all these beliefs the main character brock brock lives inside a dome because the earth is believed to be unhabitable uh, however, Brock wants to leave the dome and explore the outside world. When he does so, he discovers plants and animal life. He finds a puppy, um, which he brings back to the dome. Scientists plan to experiment on the puppy, like they wanted to, um, in an indirect way, to kill this puppy. Because uh, if uh, they check this puppy and prove that life is available outside so all the uh, doom dwellers will go out simultaneously so uh, these scientists plan to experiment on the puppy to save it Brock leaves the dome so Brock uh, heard them that they insist and they plan to kill this dog by under the heading coast which is to do an experiment, scientific experiment on him. So he Brock make his own uh, counter attack. He wanted to get this dog out because he loves this puppy. So Brock leaves the doom with the, the puppy and discovers that the outside world is not an uh, unhabitable after all. And um, even uh, he said that maybe there's other living creatures around inside this story this story emphasizes the importance of empathy and connection with other living things it also puts value on exploration and finding things out for oneself while this story takes place on earth we can see it as a reflection on space travel from two different directions the first is that life in space might be like a cramped um, depersonalized life in the doom like um, the author here compares life inside the doom like living in a space completely separated from the earth or the outside world the second is to see the doom as a metaphor for earth itself a small place that we can expand from out into a much wider universe so two uh, similes or two figurative pictures 
Brock and Brock first meeting outside uh, the dome. This picture reflects how was the first meeting between them. Brock was trying to discover the new creature. It is the first creature he has ever seen till the moment he went out of the dome. He feels uh, afraid of Brog, the dog. Brog is the name of the dog, and they call it Brog after Brock. He will first use his inspection machine to check uh, this dog to make sure that it is free of infection. It is not poisonous. Then he will give the dog some of his food. We will concentrate more next time about type of relation be that was between the dog and his mother. Uh, because before this picture, uh, Brock looked at the dog like crying for his dead uh, mother. He saw the dead body of the dog's uh, mother. That's why he wanted to inspect it and make sure that the dog is free of infection. So if we compare this meeting to Brock and Brock at the end, look at them. Both of them are drinking fresh water from this kennel or channel. So they became more friends after deceiving the scientists inside the dome. Like um, Brock was intelligent enough because by, by chance he discovered that these scientists uh, mainly want to uh, do some scientific experiments to kill the dog. In order not to prove to the uh, dome dwellers that uh, life is available and fresh outside of this place. So, after deceiving the scientists inside the dome and convincing them that the dog is infected and Brock himself was infected too, uh, the two friends, Brock and Brock, were able to escape from the dome. Um, they went out and started to run and jump. For the first time, Brock is running, is running fast without his heavy suit, without fear. He drank some water from the near canal and told Brock that they might be uh, some animals. They might find other dogs around and Brock will not be the last dog. So they will start a new free life together, searching for other living creatures around. So they will move on and breathe uh, fresh air, drink fresh water, start their uh, new life like a newborn creature. Let's have some critical questions. Where does Brock live? Because many people will be confused. Brock lived inside the dome, a manufacturer world underground to protect all the survivors from the nuclear reactions after war. What do people believe about the world outside the doom and which is the basic thing that most of scientists and people inside the doom brought on? Like they believe that life is outside, uh, life outside is completely infectious and poisonous. People believe that it is uninhabitable. Uh, okay, so it's not possible to live by any uh, way. Poisonous and infection everywhere. What does Brock discover about the world outside the dome? He discovered that it, con it contains living things like trees, grass, and dog. Uh, it is not uninhabitable. So he discovered that there are many sources of life outside of the dome, and they must try it. They shouldn't be afraid of all these uh, lies. Uh, he discovered that there is a fresh water, fresh air. He can drink water. He can breathe without of this, um, without this suit. So he discovered that all these lies are really um, deceiving, and uh, exploration is the best solution to face any belief and any any problem. And this story sheds the light on the value of adventure and exploration. It's better to face uh, your fears than waiting and being afraid. So it's better because once you wait, you will imagine a huge and a worse uh, monster and a strange ideas. It's better to uh, explore to see more details about your fears. 
uh, I'll stop here this time. Next time um, we can bring some quotes and some questions, critical questions um, about this selection. And if you have any questions, please write it on the comments below this video. Thank you very much and see you next time.